Hi, I'm Mrs. Palmer, the Tuscora Library Media Specialist. Today, I'm going to take you through a virtual orientation of our school library. All right, the first thing that I'm going to show you for the library orientation is the Tuscora Library website. So I click on this link here. It's going to take me to the website. You'll see that the virtual library is right here. There is the LS2 pack, which is our book catalog, which I'll go over in a little bit. Sora, which is our program for audio and ebooks. And then down here are all of our databases that you will use in classes for research and different projects. Also access to my Twitter account right here. This is the basic information about me and the hours of the Media Center. But since we're not in school, it's going to, it's a little bit different now. The academic integrity resources, plagiarism. There's also different reading resources. If you need to find a book and you're not quite sure what you want to read, you can check out some of these. So I'm going to click on the LS2 pack, our book catalog, and show you a little bit about that. So up here you can search and you can search for a book title if you know the title you want. You could search by an author, if you know the author. And look at all the books by the author. You can search by a subject. And you can go in and do advanced searches as well. But so this came up with baseball. I'm gonna click on it and it's gonna give me a little bit of a summary. And it's going to tell me the title, the author, and it's going to show me my shelf location. Now, if we were in the actual library, I would show you where you could get this nonfiction book on the outer shelves of the library. But I can't do that right now, but I'm just going to explain it to you a little bit. So all the nonfiction are going to have a number and then three letters. All right. These three letters are the first three of the author's last name. And then this number is in the 700s, which is the sports and entertainment section, which I would show you, but just something for you to think about. If you do want this book now, though, you'll click place a hold and you'll put a hold on it and then the book will be available through our curbside library pickup, which I'll show you in a little bit. So I just searched baseball, but I'm going to go down here and you can click on a lot of different things over here to narrow your results, but I'm going to click on collection. And I'm going to go to fiction because I want a book about baseball, but I also want it to be a novel. So I'm going to look for a fiction book. And you can see here that it'll show the shelf location, says it's sports, SPO, FIC, KIN. So that means it is a fiction book in our sports, John R5 section. And the KIN goes to the first three letters of the author's last name. And if I decide that I want this book, I can put a placehold and then it'll be available through the curbside pickup. All right, so back here, I can click here to go to Sora. I'm gonna also show you it through the Tuscora web, uh, library website. So I click on Sora and Sora is our reading app that we have available now. So you can search for books up here and you can check them out. I'm just gonna click on this one. Um, obviously these are elementary books, but yours are going to show up with the right level books. And so show up and it will tell you all about the book. And then you can click borrow. And it lets me borrow it. And so I'm already logged in. So it automatically did that for me. When you first click on the Sora app, you will have to log in and it will just be with your FCPS information. You can also go through and look, look through the um, different subjects. Right now, mine is showing elementary, but yours would show young adult, romance, it would show um, fantasy, but they would all be young adult books. And then these are new editions, and then you have audiobooks too. So you'll know that the audiobook has a little set of headphones, and so you know that you can listen to that book. If you want to get your account to go with the Frederick County Public Library account, you just click these three lines and then you'll click add library and search for Maryland's digital library and you'll add that. So then you will have access to um, the Frederick County Public Library's e and audiobooks as well. So that is Sora. 
you can get it from the Tuscora Library website or out here in our virtual library if you click right there. So in our virtual library, there are some other links down here. This says FCPL. That stands for Frederick County Public Library. So if I click on that link, it's going to take me here to the Frederick County Public Library. And you have access to everything on here. There's databases. There's different apps for downloading books. You can go to Hoopla and watch movies. You can read magazines. You can actually download music. So many things you can do through the public library. And you might say, but I don't have a card. If you go back here and you click on student success, this tells you all about your student success card that you may have seen before. But if you haven't, basically this is your library card to the Frederick County Public Libraries. What you do to access the materials is you type in this number, 119-829, and then your eight-digit student ID number. If it ever asks for a password, the password is just student. And that will give you access to everything the public library has available to you. There's also a link here for Noodle Tools. Noodle Tools is the citation creator that FCPS has available. So you may be in a class where I um, give a presentation on Noodle Tools at some point. I'm not going to really go into detail about it, but I'm just going to tell you that this is what we have for FCPS to help create citations. So if you click on Google, you will um, go through and choose your school and save your profile and it will take you into Noodle Tools here. All right, before when we were looking at the LS2 book catalog, I was telling you about putting holds on books. Well, if you go to the link right here where it says curbside book pickup, it's going to take you to this website. And right here, it's going to tell you step-by-step -step directions with images, how to put a hold on a book. There's also video directions. And then there's another link to the book catalog. But basically, when you do that, you're going to be notified through Schoology when your hold is available for pickup. And there's a cart in the front office that has a sign that says library book pickup or curbside book pickup. And there'll be a bag there with your name on it with your book or books that you have placed holds on. You get to keep the books for three weeks. And then there's going to be a bin in the front vestibule. So the front little area when you come in before the main office where you can just drop your books when you're finished. So this has already happened, but if you are want a book now, if you place your hold by Tuesday, September 29th, then you're going to see your pickup dates will be Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of that same week. Wednesday, it's from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., and Thursday, Friday, from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. So in order to get your book, you always must place your hold on the Tuesday before the pickup date. So we have coming up Tuesday, September 29th, Tuesday, October 13th, and Tuesday, October 27th. If you find that you have been assigned a project where you have to read a book and you're just not quite sure what you could read, or you just finished a book and you want to read your next one, there are some great resources here to help you figure out what you should read next. So right now here, there's a link that takes you to a video. And that video shows you the teens top 10 picks for 2020. So these 10 books were picked by teenagers like yourself and they were picked as the best new books for 2020. There's also this link right here that takes you to this site that I made called what um, need help finding a great book. It has some different sites for you, Goodreads, Back to Black Eyed Susan, Gail's Books and Authors. So you can search through that and see if it will help you find a good book. A lot of times, um, or on this site, what should I read next? If you put in the title of what you just read or title of a book that you like, it will give you suggestions that on um, books that are similar to that. Here, these are all linked to popular, this is romance, popular romance books. And you can click on more romance and it will take you to a list of a bunch of young adult romance. This does science fiction, realistic fiction, and mystery. Another thing that I want to point out, it says BES books. These are our Black Eyed Susan books. The Black Eyed Susan Award is a Maryland-based award, and it's given through elementary school, which you probably remember because elementary librarians always 
read the books to you and usually let you vote. But it's books that were picked by a group of people in the state of Maryland that are honor books. So these are usually, these are some of my favorite books of every year. So if you're interested in those, you can click on the tab and it's going to show you a book trailer and give you a little bit of information about the book. So we have with the fire on high, what if it's us? We have Laura Dean keeps breaking up with me. Lots of um, two can keep a secret. If you heard of one of us is lying, this is from the same author. So a lot of great books. And these are the Black Eyed Susan books. All right, so you're going to have this link that takes you to the virtual library available for you to take a look at and see all the resources that we have available. You can go to Tuscore Library website. But what I need you to do when you're done looking at it is click on this link right here. It's a scavenger hunt assignment. So there's going to be a few questions for you to answer. They're all multiple choice but it's gonna be all about the Tuscarora Virtual Library and the resources we have available. So please make sure that when you are done, you click on the scavenger hunt assignment link and complete that. If you have any questions about the library, you can always get in touch with me at carrie, C-A-R-R-I-E dot palmer at fcps.org. So actually click on this icon up here and it will take you to my email address. So thank you for letting me give you a virtual library orientation.